Arthur Horton, who goes by Lee, is a student mentor at McKay High School. He loves his kids. We, I, I just miss them. I miss our, I miss our, our students. He's a listening ear, someone who encourages students to get to graduation. Wait, some of them it may take a little bit more, but that's okay. During the pandemic, he and other staff in the district have been knocking on doors, hoping to connect with high school students who still have had no contact with their teachers. Yeah, I'm coming to your house. We, you know, we care about, you know, your situation. And not only just the academic part, to just to see if you're, if you're healthy. You know what I mean? Is everything going all right? He says students who haven't started distance learning often tell him they're overwhelmed, their devices aren't working, or with school out of sight, well, it's also out of mind. So we had about 100 students across our high schools that we had been able to reach and engage in distance learning. Superintendent of the Salem-Kaiser School District, Christy Perry, says nearly half of those students are from the alternative school. They might be students who have been expelled from school, so they could be uh, disenfranchised with school to begin with. Or they might be working jobs to support their families. They could be teen moms. They're managing children and trying to be learners. And, and that's, a, that's a lot for um, any mom, including a teen mom. She says now with the last day of school coming up next week, the plan is to look ahead to summer school and even fall to figure out a way to help students succeed. I think it's going to be really uh, critical as we come back to think about um, where our kids are, both in their um, social emotional trauma, but their what I'm calling academic trauma as well. While the majority of the 10,000 high school students in the district have participated in some way in distance learning, Lee knows his work won't be done even after the last day of school. Now he'll be pushing kids towards summer school. We're out there trying to keep these students engaged and trying to get them across the finish line. And it doesn't stop when school ends. We're still going to be out there grinding. So right now, the focus is on three different groups of kids. Of course, the 100 students who have had no contact with their teachers. But then there are the 325 seniors who don't have enough credits to graduate. Educators hope to get them the credits they need by graduation in August. Then there are also the 9th through 11th graders who may also be short on credits. Christine Pitawanich. KGW News.